Hi everyone, this is June and today I'm gonna tell you how to get good score in IMAT in a short period of time. I'd like to introduce like my background to you for the better understand. I've got in the IMS in 2019. I studied engineering at my previous university, but um, it was environmental engineering, so I barely did physics and biology. I studied the IMAT after I graduated from the university, so that means it's been like five years since I studied high school uh, things. So I started all over and from the beginning, it was not that easy. You have to know that your goal is not perfection. Your goal is to get in the university. Don't pursue the perfection, you're gonna be exhausted and you might lose your strength. Just focus on the subjects you're really good at. In my case, I really hate to study physics, especially electricity and magnetism. So I decided not to. I didn't study for the general knowledge because it's general knowledge for European people. There are no books to prepare, so I ditched it too. So what I'm saying is, check your strength and check your weakness and check how much period of time you have. Have to set the goal, like for example, like how much point you want to get. If you want to get like 40 or like 50, you can teach some topics if you are like in rush. I used active record for the first time when I was preparing I met and it was incredible. I used the one note and make the table. One column I put questions and other one I put answers. So when I review it, I go through all the questions and mark it with colors. Anyway, if you have a beautiful note just written like in sentences, when you go through it, you feel like you know it. But maybe it doesn't. If you only see the question and try to answer the question, you really get to know that which part you know and which part you don't know. And this is the video I checked before I start doing the active record. I will put the link below the description box and if you want, you can check. As you know, there is a limited number of IMAT past the papers. So I don't recommend you to go through all of the things like away before the exam like six months before. I don't recommend that. I personally recommend you to go through the BMAT past paper books so that you can get to know like how to solve the questions and then when you're gonna jump to the IMAT you will feel like you're comfortable with, you're familiar with. So, like right before the exam, like two months or a month, you can go through the IMAP past the paper. You are ready. I recommend you to pick the test location near your country to make the difference between the time zones gets like smaller. It's for your like concentration. If you switch the switch the time zone, okay. I don't know. It's only for me, but I believe that it's really hard to focus on the exam. So I picked the Hong Kong because there is like little difference in time zone. I recommend you to do similar to this thing.
when you are in the classroom where you're gonna take dynamite, deep breathe, don't panic because I panicked at the beginning of the exam when I just got the paper I felt like I know nothing I just want to run away but I was thinking that it's not gonna be true it's not gonna be this much difficult as I think so I go through the papers again and I realized that it's just only because of my fear to do the exam so if there's anyone who's get afraid of the exam all the time please relax deep breathe if you feel like oh my god i'm screwed during the exam no 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 just deep breathe and read it again and again okay if there is a video you want me to make please leave the comments and let me know if you have a further questions about preparing I met also in the comment section and please hit the like button if you like this video and I hope to see you guys on my next video ciao